Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, we're going to go with lofting this time. Um, lofting is also sometimes called wireframe design, where you use two-dimensional shapes to create a frame that you then turn into a three-dimensional object. And once you learn how to loft, you can make a lot of really cool stuff. In, fa in fact, a lot of complicated parts uh, just by connecting uh, a bunch of uh, two-dimensional objects. So for example, um, we could take our circle here and we'll, we're going to draw a circle that's radius, uh, we'll make it radius 45. There we go. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste. That gives us a new one, and we're going to pull this one up. Uh, let's say let's pull it up 25 millimeters, and then we're going to offset it a little bit. So we're going to we're going to uh, let's grab our option here. Here we go. We're going to set offset it uh, 22 degrees. Well, we'll make it. Yeah, it's 23 degrees. There's 22 degrees. Perfect. Now we can take this again and Control C, Control V. There it gives us another one. We'll pull it off. We're going to go up 25 millimeters and we'll rotate this 22 degrees. And then we'll do it again. Control C, Control V. And you're starting to get the idea here. We're just taking these, we're pulling them out 25 millimeters, and then we're bending them by 22 degrees. Voila. Now, as you're starting to see, this is starting to look like what could be some kind of duct work or something like that. It could be part of, uh, this could be used in like a radiator or intercooler uh, setup in an engine. It could be used in a home for uh, AC. Uh, so it's got various applications. And then what you do here is you've got these uh, four 3D shapes or uh, four 2D shapes, and you could continue out more if you wanted to. But in order to loft, what you do is you start with the one at the bottom and you click on it, control and click, then click again, click again, click again, and then go to your loft function, which is under construct, you hit loft, and boom, look at that. We've got a fully formed three-dimensional part that we've made from two-dimensional parts. And you can do this with squares, you can do this with uh, circles, and in fact, you don't even have to keep the circles the same size. If you want to get crazy, you can uh, have circles of different sizes and it will draw a skin around them. So for instance, if you want to do a vase that started out big at the top, got skinny in the middle, and then got broad again at the base, you could do that. Uh, if you wanted to make like a horn or something like that, like for a costume, you were, you know, doing a, doing like a, like ram's horns or something like that, you could absolutely uh, make those. It just takes a little bit of time and it's all the same sort of a process. Um, so two-dimensional drawings in one, two, three D design are super useful because they become 3D objects. I'll show you one more way you can uh, turn a two-dimensional object into a 3D object, and that's using the extrude option. So what you can do is just grab uh, another, let's use a polygon this time just for fun. Let's make it uh, 25 degree, the 25 uh, millimeter radius, and we'll make each side n. There we go. Okay, so instead of, so now it's not a polygon anymore, it's a, uh, was that a dec dedectagon? Anyway, my, I'm not super up on my Latin. Um, so you click on the object, and then it's really simple. You've got the option to extrude right here on your wheel. It's also up here on top under, um, well, let's see, let's press and pull. Where's our other option? It would be under uh, construct. So it would be under extrude there. So we grab, we click extrude, and then what we do is we just whoosh, pull it up and voila now we have a three-dimensional object so extruding is another you can extrude uh, 2d shapes into 3d shapes and you don't just have to extrude 
uh, your common shapes. You can draw your own shapes. So for instance, I could draw something uh, using spline, the spline option here. I'm gonna go like this so I can see a little bit better. Let's see here, I'm gonna go to, let's get my spline option up again here. I'm gonna click here on the work surface. Now I'm gonna draw something complicated like what might be the wing of a plane here. Let's just keep going, we'll go off the build area a little bit. Just extend it out for us. Like there, we'll bring it back now. There and there and there. Now. We can even, and the cool thing with the spline tools, once we get it in place, we can also click and drag and change our uh, our shapes. Now from here, I could click on it, I could control C, I can control V, just made a copy of it. I'm gonna go straight up. And I can uh, wireframe uh, and use my, um, use my loft function here. Let's see if we also have an extrude option on this. We may. We probably do. Oh, yeah, right there. So check this out. We don't even need to get that complicated. We can just click here. We can go down here to extrude. Click up and whoop, look at that. We just made the wing of a plane. So, again, you've got all kinds of options when it comes to using two dimensional shapes in 1, 2, 3D design to make. 3D objects. Play around with it, have some fun, get creative, and see what you can come up with. All right, guys, thanks for watching. More later.